guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to talk about my trash so it's products that I've already emptied out or maybe it's a little bit too old and it's time for it to go so let's go ahead and get started how do you guys like my fake lashes <laughs> I have my magnetic SL lashes on and I've been really loving it but I love how easy it is to apply so, so yeah let's talk about my trash but before that I hope everyone had a great 4th of July the day that I'm filming this is actually the 4th I hope you guys had fun with your 4th of July we just stayed home had some barbecue and lit up some little small fireworks for my daughter because she loves fireworks anyway so let's talk about my trash because this is what we talk about when we don't have money to buy new makeup right <laughs> that's the case for me because um i think i'm going on a no buy i'm pretty sure i am going on a no buy you know i think covid killed my youtube budget <laughs> all of us are affected in some way or form with this covid 19 and so um, yeah, I'll try to keep my channel as current and up-to-date, but definitely will be slowing down on newer products But there's always something to learn here Sometimes, you know, showing you new makeup one after the other can be a little bit boring I feel like I think it's more important to show you things that are more useful Really just getting a lot of views over our current makeup Let's go ahead and get started um, My first empty is the derma blend powder i think i'm on my third or fourth uh, container of this i love this brand it's a loose setting powder and it's great for oily skin i use it to set my face and it keeps me matte throughout the day it is cruelty free dermatologist tested non-comedogenic so that means it won't break you out and it's also allergy tested which means you know it's not going to give you any irritation especially if you have sensitive skin i can't wait to try their foundation they also have a foundation so that's on my kind of wish list this one is a, a wet and wild setting spray it sets your face gives you a matte finish but the spray is so faulty like if i pressed it right now like you can barely press down like you can't press down once you press down it gets stuck at the bottom and then it barely sprays anything out i wish i was able to finish this off luckily this is very affordable so i don't mind like throwing it away in the trash quality wise it's just meh for me um it definitely keeps you really matte i think a little too too matte but i don't mind it oh and also this one is a cruelty free makeup so not bad but you do run the risk of having a faulty spray so this is the clinique take the day off balm and basically this is a makeup remover i love this makeup remover i mean it's non-greasy it's like a balm that you put on your face and gently melts away the makeup and then you just rinse your face off i still like to go with a second um, cleanser after this but definitely this is a good first step especially if you have a full face of makeup on um i like to compare this with the pharmacy um makeup remover that we got in our boxy charm box i like this a little bit better i feel like the ingredients are a little bit better i haven't really looked into all the different ingredients what i did notice was how it looks in my sink you know after i wash my face off like this one just clearly goes into this drainage and disappears the other one kind of stays on and almost clogs my drainage if that makes sense so um i don't know if that means anything but i feel like you know maybe the pharmacy has a lot of thicker ingredients that doesn't really dissolve right away i think i prefer clinique a little bit more so if you want this especially if you have dry skin this is great at removing your makeup i don't think i've heard anybody talk about this this is the tarte um under eye corrector and it's a kind of like a cc cream looks like that right there so it has that very salmony uh orangey peach color if you have a a similar skin tone as mine 
or darker. I think this is the best, the best. This is my number one under eye corrector. So I love to put this right about here or here, you know, where it's darkest. And so, and it just eliminates that so perfectly, just kind of blends in with the color of my skin and just removes the dark circles. And I like to put this under my concealer. When I use this, I don't have to worry too much about the color of my concealer or especially like lightweight concealers it doesn't cover my dark circles very well and so when i put this on i feel like i can use any type of concealer even a lightweight hydrating concealer such as let's say the um this pretty vulgar one that i got in my boxycharm box so i feel like i could use something like this that's a little less coverage but it would still look flawless under my eyes. This is by Tarte, one of my faves. If you have intense dark circles, this is the best. So get yourself one of these. The It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. Everybody knows about this, I feel like. Hold on. It's so freaking hot, my hands are sweating right now. The wand looks like this. This is definitely one of the best mascaras I've used. It's very lengthening, it's very volumizing. A lot of people love this mascara and it usually goes on sale during the 21 Days of Beauty. So I think you guys should check this out and try it out when it does go half off or 40% off. The next empties that I have is by Lancome and this is the Lancome Juicy Shaker. And I use all of this up. I would use this throughout the winter season and I would use it up so once a year I would buy myself one of these and it's such a great kind of oil based lip balm and it has a little bit of color so you can see that and this is in the color birthday cake I think no piece of cake so this is in the color piece of cake and basically it's a juicy shaker kind of like a martini shaker you shake it up and then um, the oil mixes with the pigment and then you get that, you know, shine that you like. And I really love this more than lip balms because it's so soothing and comforting on the lips. Usually I like a very, very pigmented lip balm or lipstick. And this is one of the few that actually gives me the right color for my lips and I don't mind it being a little sheer. So love this product you know it's my second time emptying this product it's still being sold at nordstrom of course on the lancome website and macy's next one is a foundation the makeup forever matte and velvet foundation i love this i mean you want something matte this is it full coverage i have the color 53 but i think i was wanting to go a tad tad bit darker i felt like this was a little lighter is this is there okay yeah so there's still something in here but it usually expires in 12 months and so this is long overdue so i didn't end up finishing the bottle as you can see i think every time i do an empties video this product is in it so um you guys know about it it's a makeup setting spray it makes your makeup last longer i have it on right now i did use it i'm hoping that this makeup would last all the way till nighttime when we light up fireworks definitely one of my faves i mean it's everybody's favorite i think so highly highly recommend this there's also a travel size bottle if you want to try it first that way it sells at ulta the other thing that i want to talk about are these stila convertible color and so this is what it looks like i have two i have the color lilium and hibiscus my favorite is the color lilium and this is what it looks like right here i love these i wish i could use them up more um this is the color hibiscus so it's super pigmented it's supposed to be a lip and cheek combo kind of thing and then this is lilium you know don't be afraid of the colors but once you're able to blend it out it is such a nice tint on the cheeks 
it blends so perfectly. The only reason why I'm throwing it away is because it's already too old. Um, but if you have dry skin, this is gonna be great for you because it doesn't accentuate your pores. It blends so nicely. It's not patchy at all. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but once I've blended it out, you can kind of see that it's not too harsh, right? These are just samples. They actually come in bigger sizes. Another one is the Laura Mercier setting powder. And this is like the travel size one. It's a cult favorite. There's nothing else to say. Laura Mercier, great powder without looking cakey on the skin. I wish I could refill it, but comment down below if you've taken out the sifter before and refill this one because this is great for travel you know you don't have to bring like the big one this is just a comparison of a travel size versus a full size product and so you can kind of see it's a little too bulky to carry when you're just traveling so yeah i wish i could just refill this you know but great powder highly recommend it okay, this one is a milani brow pomade and this is in the color poids here's what it looks like actually my aunt got me into this and that was the first time i've ever used a brow pomade and it's just so easy to use if i had the choice i would use this over like brow pencils especially i think for someone like me who has a fuller set of brows it's just easier to just you know draw the bottom and the top and kind of fill in the middle and I'm done. But if you have to draw in or pencil in your brows, definitely a pencil is a better way to go. But if you have a lot of hair and you just wanna kind of um, fill in the sparse areas, then this would be this would be a great alternative. And Milani, it's not too pricey. And what I love about it is it comes with a, um, you know the angled brush and also the um the what do you call this this spoolie to kind of comb out your brows this one i'm never gonna throw out because i feel like it's the perfect stiffness to draw that kind of perfect straight line um and all i have to do is just buy this but they always come in a set when you buy them rimmel is a less talked about brand but it was pretty popular back in the day this is the rimmel lip liner in the color ravish here's the color great color but i feel like it's it's old it's time to go this is interesting you can keep this for up to 30 months 30 months so is that like three years that's not bad, right? So I've had this for about three years for sure. This is actually not my favorite one by Rimmel. It has like a very wide tip and it's angled. It's not my favorite as far as being precise. Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating Under Eye Primer. Okay, I only have the sample one. I'm hoping to be able to buy a full size. This is, again, a great kind of under eye primer similar to the cc tarte cc cream and this one has more of a pinkish hue and i feel like this is a tad bit more hydrating so if you have extremely extremely dry under eyes i think this is the way to go versus this one but if you're oily this would be good either way though you just can't go wrong they don't crease on you they don't look heavy under the eyes they literally just hide your bags your designer bags <laughs> i've tried so many under eye primers and none of them have worked as exceptionally well as these two for the sake of this video i think we're gonna stop right here i have like 10 more empties <laughs> but i think i'm gonna you know pause and save it for another video but let's end it with a color pop lip liner so look how tiny it is can you tell it's well loved? ColourPop lip liners, they're one of the best. And this is in the color, let me see if I can see. It's so dirty and nasty. I think it's in the color BFF. 
This is in the color BFF2. So there's a BFF1 and a BFF2. And I like both of them. I think the BFF2 is a little bit more pink and the BFF is a lot more grayish nude, I feel like. What I use these colors for, the BFF and the BFF2, is really to hide that outer kind of dark line that goes around my lips. I use it kind of like a kind of like a color corrector in a way to help me wear a lot more lighter or neuter shades. Neuter. Is that a word? <laughs> if you didn't have this lip liner, it wouldn't normally look as nice. Any other lip liner from ColourPop, I've had a couple. They've been great quality. I mean, $5. You can't beat that. ColourPop is at Ulta. Only thing that I noticed <laughs> Can you guys see that what I just did? No matter how long or short the pencil was and I would just put it back in like that And it doesn't like go all the way inside the pencil either So it still works You just have to be careful because sometimes you pull out the cap and then it falls off So that's odd and that has happened to every single ColourPop lip liner that I've owned So I think that's something that maybe ColourPop has to work on That is the end of my empties i'm gonna cut it right there um i hope you guys enjoyed this video or learned something if you did please give it a thumbs up like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i post videos once a week on skincare beauty reviews some unboxings here and there so there's always something to learn here on my channel and we really just get into it you know what's good the good the bad and the ugly and so i highly recommend that if you haven't subscribed to my channel hit that subscribe button let me know if you've used any of the products that i've mentioned i hope you guys have a great rest of your day stay safe healthy and i'll see you back in my corner soon bye